Hi, this is Arlo with Postcard Ballet. It's November 12th, 2009, and we're at the world's largest radio telescope in Arecibo, Puerto Rico. Last night, Oksana and I stayed in a hotel called Casa Grande, up in the jungle, up in the mountain, and we thought it would be close enough to where we wanted to go today, but we didn't realize how twisty and windy the mountain roads were. The drive was supposed to take, oh, well, maybe an hour. Guess what? We got lost. We had quite an adventure of driving on windy roads and all that good stuff, but we made it there. As we drove up to the observatory, we went through the gate, and the first sign that we saw going through the gate, or one of the first signs, was this old-style cell phone with a big, huge red line through it, and we're like, what? what's going on? And apparently they're pretty serious about it. Because it's a radio telescope, it will pick up interference from even such a small handset. The park itself was pretty small. There's an observatory and a little science exhibit. It cost us $6 each to get in. We walked up the stairs, got in. They have a little science museum that you walk through first. I was pretty impressed with the science exhibit. It was only really one room. A, a lot of things had buttons you could press, demonstrations you could see, motorized things that you could play with little ports you could stick your head in and see the planets moving, all sorts of great little, very informative displays. For instance, the one that shows the color temperature of light, you can increase the amount of power going to a light bulb and it will show you the color temperature as you go, even getting it down to where it's technically still on but you can't see anything and it's shifted into the infrared. There was another one where you could hold up a prism of sorts against a hydrogen or helium neon tube and see the spectrum shift there so you can for instance they can tell what a star's made out of uh, lots of little displays like that very very cool very well done i thought then we went and watched uh, a little one day in the life of the observatory video and uh hmm, let's say it was a little bit outdated what was really bad was that they tried to have all the people that actually work there force some dialogue, make it look like they were acting, and you could you could tell it was, it was pretty painful. But after the movie was done, we went out back to the observatory itself and looked out over the edge and saw the whole radio telescope there right in front of us. I personally had no understanding of what it's going to be and how the whole telescope is going to look like. It was really cool. And the thing is huge. It's something like 300 meters across. Looking up above us, we could see the three towers across the, the little valleys there, um, each tower with something like seven suspension cables holding this, this incredibly massive structure up above. It was pretty cool. You could see people walking along up by the dome. It was really, really, really impressive. The telescope itself, the ball, is not actually sitting on the ground because the understanding that I had was that it was solid concrete that was in this bowl that's a natural formation and that they just paved the sides of the mountain but it turns out that the whole dish is actually off the ground and the whole structure is aluminum each aluminum panel they say is set to within two millimeters of accuracy to get the right curvature so that the radio signals are gathered down into the bowl and the dome can then be moved to focus anywhere on the bowl so in that way, they can examine many different parts of the sky. And we also got to see it moving because every time somebody is doing a certain experiment where they want to point it to an exact spot, they have to readjust the antenna and point it just right. So this whole massive thing moves sideways and then turns and readjusts it. So it's really, really neat. It is November 12th and we are at, uh, tell me the name, Arecibo, Arecibo which is, uh... shoot, can't remember the name, wonderful. 